Since pain medicine cost her her life. That was just one development revealed in court today as a man admitted to her murder. And now that man, Michael Jason Miller, will spend the rest of his life in prison. Jay Warren was in court today as prosecutors detailed a friendship that turned deadly. Jay? Well, he struck her twice in the head. He did Carol Boyd with a 10-pound dumbbell, then slit her wrists. Today, Michael Jason Miller admitted that on April 18th, he went to his friend Carol Boyd's apartment to kill her for her pain medication. Miller struck her over the head with the dumbbell and then took a razor blade to her wrist. This was for the purpose of disguising the injury that he had caused to make this appear to be a suicide as opposed to a purposeful killing. The two had met some years ago. She played bingo and he worked at a bingo hall. During the course of their investigation, police determined that he had been there, and when they found him, he still had blood on his clothing. I just want to say um, I apologize to Carol's family. No matter how much I apologize, it won't change anything that happened. And I thank my family and apologize to them as well. After Miller had been taken away, we learned a little bit more about their relationship from the prosecutor. There would have been some evidence that, that she would barter her uh, pain medication for a ride to her grocery store or doctor or whatever. Uh, she was not a drug dealer, but there was probably some impropriety with respect to the use of her medication. Boyd leaves behind two kids and eight grandchildren and a family trying to pick up the pieces. She loved her family. She was a family person, and we had a future. We had plans. We and there's so much now that she's going to miss because of this. I'm just grateful that they've got him, and that justice was served for my mother, and that he did admit to it. He owned up to it. I appreciate that. You know, this is just going to be hard for me and my family to get through. Now, in the run-up to today, the prosecutor offered life without parole in exchange for the guilty plea, and that is what happened. Initially, he tried to cover his tracks, but then after the investigation started, he quickly came clean. Jay Warren, 9 on your side, Hamilton.